Howdy y'all, Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. Today is Thursday, December 16th, 2010, Nexus S Day for all of you who are looking to get that. And here's a brief summary of what we got going on today on the website. Please check out the entire articles at www.phonescholar.com. And of course, any questions, send them to me through the YouTube or at blog questions at phonescholar.com. And here we go. LG Optimus 2X, first dual core smartphone launches with Android. And this is a big, big thing. A lot of people have been waiting for this. This may completely surpass doing the 1.2 gigahertz processors. We'll have to see. Now, I normally don't do stories about products that are coming out or especially not coming out in the US, but this is a really, really big thing. And I think you should read up and check out what this thing can do. Uh, some of the features it comes with, just to let you know, is a four inch screen, eight megapixel rear camera, 1.3 megapixel front camera. It has 1080p video, which is, in some people's opinion, an upgrade to the seven, uh, 780p or 720p, some people not. Uh, but it does come with what's called HDMI. So what you can do is wirelessly hook up to any HDTV with what's called DNLA technology and literally use your phone like a console gaming. It's really, really cool. Uh, but it does have what's called the Tegra 2 processor made by NVIDIA, which is awesome. And what the whole concept of the dual core is, you'll get faster, smoother transitions, multitasking, gaming audio with actually less battery consumption and just as much power. So it looks like this is what a lot of people have been waiting for. Uh, they're launching in Korea next month and then in Europe and then hopefully sometime towards the end of the year or somewhere uh, in the U.S. But I think you're going to see these coming fast and furious now that's, that this one is out. And it's by LG, which is not the leader in the smartphone technology right now, but I think they make terrific phones. So read the article and learn a little bit. I think you'll really enjoy it. Next, HTC Evo 4G gets maintenance updated for bugs and apps. And this is not gingerbread, sorry guys, but it is a really, really good upgrade for the Evo. Uh, it adds Blockbuster, Kindle e-reader, e uh, the game Nova with a try and buy in there, uh, Sprint Zone update, latest Telenav, Telenav is the tracking system, mapping system, uh, voice, uh, voice activated uh, system, um, sorry, GPS system, sorry. Uh, latest visual voicemail application, latest Sprint TV application. It's adding swipe keyboard to the Evo, which a lot of people have been asking for. So I think you're right there. And then scan now widget for 4G. So great upgrade. Go ahead and get it done if you have the Evo right away. Uh, you can. It should be. You should get a notice for it. If not, you can go to the Sprint website and download it. Best Buy getting locked out of Droid Pro, Droid Pro and Droid, and this is great. Today, Best Buy exclusively is selling the Nexus S phone starting as we speak. However, if you're going to compare them to the Droid Pro or the Droid X, you're not going to be able to, excuse me, the Droid Pro or the Droid 2, you're not going to be able to because they're getting pulled from Best Buy. Why? They undersold the best from Verizon. They were selling the Droid 2 for 100 bucks and the Droid Pro for 50 bucks. And I guess Verizon got upset. There's a contractual issue where they, can, they can't undersell the stores. And wow, uh, it's a pretty big thing. And when I was a Verizon dealer, I have to tell you, the stores always undercut me. So I don't know if I'm happy about this or not, but a uh, pretty big issue. I'm sure they're going to get it worked out and get them back, but there you go. And they are literally recalling the phones and taking them off the shelves. Lastly, Microsoft launches Bing 2.0 for iPhone and Android. Uh, I put links for both the downloads if you want there. And basically, the, the number one thing that they're adding is what's called Street Side, which is a 3D view where you can literally walk through the map to find out where you want to go. So it looks like a really nice upgrade. Free app, of course. Uh, so good for the iPhone and the Android. That's all I got for today. Short and sweet. I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.